Hello and welcome to East West Sports, a show that looks at how the world of sports here in China fits into the global sporting picture. I'm Aaron Stewart. The NFL is one of the most popular leagues around the world, so it's no surprise that the Super Bowl attracts fans from all over the globe. But how much of the worldwide popularity extends all the way here to China? BON's Ian Jacobs has more. The NFL has held several events in China recently in an attempt to promote the growth of football. And NFL China's head offices are right here in Beijing, with only one day to go before the biggest game of the season. Let's go find out how excited people on the streets of Beijing are for the Super Bowl and for football in general. Let's go. Super. Yeah. It's the biggest game of the I know, year. I know. Are you excited about it? Do you have any hopes of watching it? Uh, stay at home, watch the game in the ESPN. Are you excited? Are you going to watch it? Yeah, of course. I'm watching on the Chinese uh, what, Spring Festival, the first day of Spring Festival, right? It's a uh, 49 loss over overtime. Well, you and I've seen football on TV before. I think the game's physical aspects are quite impressive. This is sports, uh, super, uh, super power. Uh, you know, the show the people's uh, body uh, muscle. Wear a helmet and run around. Oh yeah, yeah, I've seen that before. I often watch sports programs on TV. So it's the Giants and the, and the, and the Patriots. Who's going to win this week? If I have to choose, then I can really only guess at this point. I'd say New York. New York, right? I think New New York, New York, New York can win. New York, right? Well, I'd say New York because the city is very famous. I believe their athletes must also be pretty awesome. Ah, yeah. I believe their athletes must also be pretty awesome. We join Ian now at one of Beijing's more popular sports bars, Grinders, as they prepare for this weekend's big game. Thanks a lot, Aaron. So as you can see, it's a little subdued here, probably the calm before the storm for what's expected for the Super Bowl. I'm here with the owner of Grinders, Trevor Metz. Trevor, tell us, what are you expecting uh, for, for Monday morning? Pretty much mayhem, actually, and it, uh, it gets extremely busy down here. And it's not just us, it's going to be all over town. Any sports bar that's going to be open for it is going to be just rampacked, full of ravenous, uh, just extremely happy football fans for this big event. Now, what time do people start coming in at? Well, we open our doors at 6 a.m. The game starts at 7.30, but people like to come in, get a good base down, have a little something to eat, and then fortify themselves for later on as the game gets going. People like to have a couple drinks with the game and pretty much turn this into an early morning party. So what's the atmosphere like compared to back in North America? Is it more or less civilized than what you'd expect for a Super Bowl party? Well, it's actually pretty cool because I think it's a lot of like-minded people, people that are from around North America, mostly. I mean, you have other people from China and Europe and things like that, but it's mostly North Americans coming to celebrate because this is the biggest sporting event in North America every year. And so people really want to get involved in this and they really like, you know, like I remember I was a Seahawks fan and this guy I sat with met him for the first time. He was a Pittsburgh fan. His team unfortunately beat my team, but it was a good time. Two guys from North America enjoying a game early morning, so it's pretty fun. Now, are you guys doing anything special? Like, wh what type of things are you doing to get ready for the amount of people that are going to be here? Well, we're going to have a big full breakfast going. We're going to have uh, scrambled eggs with cheese. We're going to have French toast and bacon, sausage, the usual fare, but we're going to have big buckets of mimosas. We're going to have Bloody Marys ready for everybody. We're going to have our coffee and our Baileys. So everything's going to be pretty much ready. We also have three different uh, TVs here, big screen uh, all in full high def for the thing, so it's uh, it's going to be a hell of a Super Bowl. Now, is the crowd more more local Chinese guys, or is it more Western, or sort of what's the demographic? Oh no, you're going to get 98 <laughs> percent uh, North Americans here for this. Lastly, who are you cheering for? You know, I don't really have a pony in this race. I'm a Seahawks guy, and everybody else is just another team. But if I had to pick a team, I would probably go for New England. Or perhaps a full bar is what you might be cheering for. I am well. actually hoping for it. Well, I know that's already going to happen. Just uh, make sure everybody has a good time and then it's a good game. That's what I'm hoping for. Cool. Thanks, Trevor. You're very welcome. Aaron, back to you.